I am here at my see it all Seussville machine. If you look, you will soon see some friends on the screen. Before we can start, you will need to sign in. Please type your name here and click Go to begin. In the jungle of Newell, it's the 15th of May. It is mid-afternoon on a beautiful day. There's Horton the Elephant strolling along. He's sniffing the flowers and humming a song. Then out of a bush jumps a big kangaroo. And the young kangaroo in her pouch jumps out too. Why, Horton, I'm so glad that you happened by. Just then, Horton's ears hear a very small cry. What's that? Horton says to the big kangaroo. <laughs> it's a lost baby girl, and her name... Elma Sue. <laughs> I'm busy today with one thing or another. I haven't got time now to look for her mother. So you take the baby. She likes you, I know. See you soon. Doodaloo. Lots of luck. Gotta go. That kangaroo's always like that. Never mind her. Tell me what your mother looks like, and we'll find her. Then Elma Sue whispers in Horton's big ear, My mommy is pretty. I wish she was here. The elephant listened and heard what she said. A picture was forming inside Horton's head. If she's very pretty, then one thing is true. She looks just like my mom, because she's pretty too. Horton needs help to find Elma Sue's mother. So click on a sign, either one or the other, to send Horton off to the famous cool pool or much further into the jungle of Newell. <laughs> I must find the mother of sweet Elma Sue. But which way should I go? Now just what should I do? Though Horton knew Elma Sue hadn't complained, he thought that a baby should be entertained. So he took her to see the fish acrobat school that was giving a show in McElligot's pool. When Horton arrived, he was glad that he'd hurried. The strawberry jellyfish really looked worried. Oh, Horton, I am so happy that you are here. For we have the most terrible problem, I fear. Our costumes arrived, but they aren't quite right. They should be in color instead of just white. We need you to help us and color them in. Then the fabulous fish folly show can begin. The strawberry jellyfish will tell you a shape and a color. Find the fish with that shape and color it in. Find the fish with the triangle and color it red. Are you sure you want to change levels? The strawberry jellyfish will tell you a shape and a color. Find the fish with that shape and color it in. Find the small fish with the circle and color it red. That's it! 
Find the medium fish with the square and color it purple. That's right! Find the large fish with the star and color it yellow. That's the one! Find the medium fish with the triangle and color it blue. That's it! For your help, I am grateful with all of my heart. But we need to paint more so the follies can start. Find the large fish with the star and color it orange. That's the one! That's it! You've colored each costume, each tail and each fin! Now the fabulous fish follies show can begin! Don't worry, we will find your mom, Elma Sue. I will never give up. That's my promise to you. I'll look for your mother wherever she went, cause an elephant's faithful 100%. But I need to know what your mom looks like to find her. My mommy has a fuzzy tail out behind her. I must find the mother of sweet Elma Sue. But which way should I go? Now just what should I do? The next place that Horton took Elma Sue was to the edge of the pond where the Sneasel bees buzz. He thought that the baby might love a sweet treat, so he'd ask the queen bee for some honey to eat. Horton shyly looked up at the Queen Sneasel Bee. Excuse me, Your Honor. Um, Your Majesty. We hate to disturb you and all of your bees, but we'd like a small taste of your sweet honey, please. I'm sorry, we're busy. We have things to do. We haven't got time to feed honey to you. Our flowers are mixed up and we can't unmix them. I think that I know of a way we can fix them. We'll open each blossom to see what is there. And then you can pick them when we've found a pair. We will match all the flowers, and when we are done, there'll be plenty of honey to feed everyone. <laughs> Help the Sneasel Bee make honey by matching the flowers. Click on two flowers that have the same number. Are you sure you want to change levels? Help Queen Sneasel Bee make honey by matching the flowers. Click on a flower with a number, and then find the matching flower with the same number of dots. One. One. Nice match!
three. Six. Oops, try again. Three. Three. Very good. Two. Four. Oops, try again. Five. Six. Oh no! Six. Six. That's it! Five. Five. That's it! Two. Two. Good match. Four. Four. That's it. Let's play again. Four. Two. Very good. Thank you for helping us. Now we'll help you. Here is some honey for sweet Elma Sue. Don't worry, we will find your mom, Elma Sue. I will never give up. That's my promise to you. I'll look for your mother wherever she went, cause an elephant's faithful 100%. I'm sure that your mother is out there somewhere, but I need to know more. Mommy has nice long hair. I must find the mother of sweet Elma Sue. But which way should I go? Now just what should I do? Horton knew without a doubt he'd need someone to help him out. And so he went to see the fox and his assistant, Mr. Knox. He thought they might know what to do to find the mom of Elma Sue. Fox, I think that you, sir, might help me and Elma Sue, sir. Her mom's missing. Yes, siree, sir. Can you solve this mystery, sir? I would help you. Yes, indeed, sir. Right away. Except I need, sir, someone's help to sort my socks, sir. Put each one into a box, sir. Some in one box, some the other. Then I'll help you find her mother. Help Mr. Fox sort all his socks. Put all his socks into a box. The different colored socks go into different boxes. Are you sure you want to change levels? Different sized boxes go into different boxes. That's it. Nice match.
That's the socks box. That's it. That's the socks box. Mr. Fox still has some socks that must be put into a box. He needs your help, so don't delay. Please help him put his socks away. The different sized socks go into different boxes. for helping sort my socks, sir. Every one into a box, sir. Now I'll search the whole world through, sir, for the mom of Elma Sue, sir. Don't worry, we will find your mom, Elma Sue. I will never give up. That's my promise to you. I'll look for your mother wherever she went, cause an elephant's faithful 100%. I will find your mom if you give me a clue. Does she have a long neck? Yes, with stripes that are blue. I must find the mother of Sweet Elma Sue. But which way should I go? Now just what should I do? Then off to the island of Salamasand, where Yertle the turtle was king of the pond. So Horton was sure he'd know just what to do to help find the mother of Sweet Elma Sue. Why, Horton, my friend, I would help you today, but from where I sit now, I can't see far away. With this stone for a throne, I look down on my pond, but I have to get higher to see far beyond. I need your assistance. Here's what you should do if you want me to help you and sweet Elma Sue. Just stack up each turtle on top of another, then I'll climb up top. And i look for her mother. Find all the turtles at Yertle once and stack them on the rock. Stack all the turtles with two on their shells. Click on me when you're done. Are you sure you want to change levels? Why, Horton, my friend, I would help you today, but from where I sit now, I can't see far away. With this stone for a throne, I look down on my pond, but I have to get higher to see far beyond. I need your assistance. Here's what you should do if you want me to help you and sweet Elma Sue. Just stack up each turtle on top of another, then I'll climb up top. And i look for her mother. Count out the number of turtles that Yertle wants and stack them on the rock. Stack three turtles. Click on me when you're done. One, two, three. I am the ruler of all that I see. So please play again. That's my royal decree. Stack four turtles. Click on me when you're done. One, two! 
I'm Yertle the Turtle, oh marvelous me, for I am the ruler of all that I see. Without all your help, I would not have a throne. I could never have stacked all these turtles alone. He's Yertle the Turtle, the king of us all. That's me. But if one of us burps, then he surely will fall. <laughs> king Yertle the Turtle fell down with a thud. Now Yertle the Turtle is king of the mud. Ah, I hate mud. <laughs> Don't worry, we will find your mom, Elma Sue. I will never give up. That's my promise to you. I'll look for your mother wherever she went, cause an elephant's faithful 100%. I need some more help while we're looking for her. My mommy has got a soft collar of fur. I must find the mother of sweet Elma Sue. But which way should I go? Now just what should I do? Horta needs help to find Elma Sue's mother. So click on a sign, either one or the other, to send Horton off to the famous cool pool or much further into the jungle of Newell. I must find the mother of sweet Elma Sue. But which way should I go? Now just what should I do? Horton knew Elma Sue needed something to eat. And he guessed she would like something juicy and sweet. So he took her to Wickersham Grove for a lunch of delicious bananas that grow by the bunch. When they came to the Wickersham Grove, they could see that the Wickersham brothers were all up a tree. Hello, boys. I'm here to feed sweet Elma Sue, but I might need a little assistance from you. I cannot reach the fruit. It is too high for me. And an elephant's not good at climbing a tree. We'll help you to get it, but first we must play a game we've been waiting to play the whole day. If you want to come join in the Wickersham's game, just find the two monkeys whose leaves are the same. Are you sure you want to change levels? <laughs> click on a monkey, then click on another to match every Wickersham up with his brother. Why? W F F Nice match! <laughs> w W Oh boy! <laughs> Why? Why? Good match! D D Nice match! G Yes. Oh dear. G. G. You're so smart. S. S. Oh boy. You are 
good at this game. You've made matches galore, but the baby's still hungry, so let's play some more. <laughs> L E I I Great job! Sue's had her lunch, and we've all had some fun. The bananas are gone, and the game playing's done. We would like to say thanks to each Wickersham brother, but now we must go look for Elma Sue's mother. Don't worry, we will find your mom, Elma Sue. I will never give up. That's my promise to you. I'll look for your mother wherever she went, cause an elephant's faithful 100%. Does your mother have two great big ears just like mine? No, my mommy has small ears, but she hears just fine. I must find the mother of sweet Elma Sue. But which way should I go? Now just what should I do? So Horton walked on with the sweet Elma Sue. Her mother was missing. Now what should he do? Perhaps he could ask his friend Maisie to try to find Elma Sue's mother from up in the sky. Why, Horton, I'd love to help out. I confess that I find myself in just a bit of a mess. I was watching these eggs while my friends went to tea. And I just flew away for one minute, you see. But when I came back, to my horror, I found a few of the eggs falling down on the ground. Now I must get them back. Oh, please help me. Please do. And then I'll be able to help both of you. Maisie needs help putting the eggs back into their nests. On each egg, there's a letter of the alphabet. Click on the egg next to Maisie and put it back into the nest that has the same letter on it. Are you sure you want to change levels? C. C. E. Very good. I. I. L. L. P. S S V That's the one! Why? Why? I'm so very grateful! Thank you.
For every egg, you've made a match. But there is still another batch. Let's play again. Why? Why? My goodness, you did it! Find your mom, Elma Sue. I will never give up. That's my promise to you. I'll look for your mother wherever she went, cause an elephant's faithful 100%. I'm getting a picture of your mom, I think. She's tall with long hair and a tail. And she's pink. I must find the mother of sweet Elma Sue. But which way should I go? Now just what should I do? Horton and Elma Sue walked on once more and wandered right up to the New River shore. They came to the place where the flu boobers float like blubbery tubs in a watery moat. It looks like this river is wet, deep, and wide. So how will we cross it? I just can't decide. As Horton was hatching a plan in his head, a beautiful butterfly flew overhead. Sweet Elma Sue giggled and laughed with delight. The then she jumped in the water and swam out of sight. Horton trembled with fear. Things began to look grim. He wanted to follow, but he couldn't swim. But he had an idea when he saw the flubes float. He could use their great bodies instead of a boat. If I feed all the flubes, they will help me, I bet. I could walk on their heads and not even get wet. <laughs> Help me find the flube that wants this snack. Click on the flube that has the same letter as the letter on my bucket. D, D, P, P. Are you sure you want to change levels? Help me find the flube that wants this snack. Click on the flube with the letter that begins the word on my bucket. T, T, D, D, M, M. That's right! P, P. That's the one! H, ha, huh. D, D, that's the one.
to the island, but then Elma Sue jumped back into the water again. So I need some more help from the flubes and from you, so I can keep looking and find Elma Sue. T T D D N N. Very good. C K H H G G. That's right. reached Elma Sue, the flube food was gone, and his patience was too. Elma Sue, no more swimming. Stay out of the water. I'm sure that your mom wouldn't want a wet daughter. Don't worry, we will find your mom, Elma Sue. I will never give up. That's my promise to you. I'll look for your mother wherever she went, cause an elephant's faithful 100%. Does your mom have a trunk that hangs down to her toes? That's silly. My mommy has got a small nose. <laughs> I must find the mother of sweet Elma Sue. But which way should I go? Now just what should I do? The next place that Horton decided to stop was outside the den of his good friend named Pop. Horton knew Elma Sue really needed her rest and Pop's bedtime stories were some of the best. Pop was glad to see Horton. He smiled and he said, My two cubs are just getting ready for bed. But before I can get them to go take a nap, they always play Let's Hop on Pop on my lap. Here's how the game goes. It is easy to play it. I think of a word in my head and then say it. The cubs picture words that they think sound the same. If you choose the right rhyme, well, then you win the game. When we've got all the words and our rhyming is through, I tell them a story. I'll tell you one, too. Listen to the word that Pop says. Rain. The cubs will think up other words. Click on the one that rhymes with Pop's word. Are you sure you want to change levels? Bug. The cubs will think up other words. Click on the one that rhymes with Pop's word. Bed. Rug. Bug. Rug. That's a match! <laughs> In the county of Keck, there's a very small bug who is going to sleep all wrapped up in a rug. Click on Pop to hear the rhyme again. Click on me if you want to hear more of Pop's story. Bug. Rug. More story! 
Listen to the word that Pop says. Bed. Red. Bed. Red. You did it. <laughs> Listen to the word that Pop says. Star. Jar. Star. Jar. That's it! <laughs> and if you go to bed, you can wish on a star and dream that you brought it back home in a jar. Click on Pop to hear the rhyme again. Click on me if you want to hear more of Pop's story. Jar. Thank you for helping us make every rhyme. Together we've all had a wonderful time. And now Pop will read the whole story to you and the two little cubs and to Elma Sue too. In the county of Keck, there's a very small bug who is going to sleep all wrapped up in a rug. The Hinklehorn Honking Club just went to bed. At the foot of each bed are their boots of bright red. The doft is so light he sleeps on a balloon that slowly will carry him off to the moon. The fish and far foodle sleep under a boat that has as its captain a fisherman goat. At the Zwieback Motel each bed feels like a rock and they wake up the guests with a loud cuckoo clock. Each biffer bomb bird builds its nest out of string and sleeps with its little head under its wing. The sleepwalking snuv walks as slow as a snail and snores with his head in a three gallon pail. And if you go to bed, you can wish on a star and dream that you brought it back home in a jar. Elma Sue, please wake up now. We really must go. We have to go look for your mother, you know. Don't worry, we will find your mom, Elma Sue. I will never give up. That's my promise to you. I'll look for your mother wherever she went, cause an elephant's faithful 100%. There's one thing I wonder about, Elma Sue. Tell me how many legs does your mother have? Two! Suddenly Horton's big ears heard a sound. He picked up his head and he looked all around. Then Elma Sue's little ears heard the sound too. A sad sounding voice crying out. Elma Sue! Oh, mommy, my mommy, it's me, it is me! Then her mother stepped out from behind a big tree. My baby, my baby, I'm glad you're all right. Elma Sue, you gave me such a terrible fright. Then Horton explained how he'd found Elma Sue. And Elma Sue's mom said, I'm grateful to you. How will I ever thank you for finding my child? It's nothing, said Horton. He blushed and he smiled. I said I would find you, and that's what I meant. An elephant's faithful 100%. Horton needs help to find Elma Sue's mother. So click on a sign, either one or the other, to send Horton off to the famous cool pool or much further into the jungle of Newell. Are you sure you want to leave? Well, we've had lots of fun down in Seussville today. Now it's getting quite late. I must be on my way. But remember, the next time that you want to play, just look for the cat in the hat and I'll say... It's a great day in Seussville and I'm on my way. I'm the cat in the hat and I've come here today.